Western Europe is the safest region in the world and the most beautiful. Western Europe has a lot to offer, but despite all the splendor, there is this one place that has proven itself to be the best place to travel as a tourist in Western Europe. And this place is Amsterdam. Amsterdam has always been an attractive destination for vacationers looking for a safe and fun place to go. This fantastic city is best known for its laid-back atmosphere of personal freedom and tolerance, combined with world-famous art, culture, canals, and Amsterdam architecture. This city has a unique vibe and charm. Downtowns, little streets, and canal areas are laden with cozy little restaurants, cafes, and pubs, inviting you to stay for lunch or supper, have a drink, enjoy people watching. Just make sure you get out of this area before the sun sets because the colorful lights shining from the establishments, illuminating the small streets and outside patios, make it almost impossible to resist its charm. Colorful, tall yet tiny houses lining 165 canals. Yes, Amsterdam has more canals than Venice. One can travel up to 100 kilometers on the water in the city limits alone. The citizens of Amsterdam are some of the friendliest Europeans and most prolific English speakers among the non-native English speakers. Crime in the city, like everywhere in the Netherlands, is low and according to The Economist, the Safe City Index of 2021 listed the city of Amsterdam as the second safest city in Europe. Despite all that the city has to offer, Amsterdam is surprisingly inexpensive compared to many other European capitals. One of the reasons why a tourist week in Amsterdam does not have to be a budget breaker is that Amsterdam is easily walkable. And how much time would you need to explore this wonderful city? Well, for a significant capital, Amsterdam is a small city. In three days, you could cover most of the city's attractions. So let's take a look at what you could do in Amsterdam. But before we do that, please allow me to say a quick thank you to all the wonderful people who have not only clicked the like button on our videos, but subscribed to our channel. Your support helps us do what we do. Deliver top-notch, authentic, and honest content from the best continent in the world, Europe. Thank you. The citizens of Amsterdam get around by bicycle. It seems that its citizens can easily live here without a car, but not without a bicycle. So it's no surprise that there are famously more bicycles on Amsterdam's roads than cars. And it seems that bicycles have the right of way, not cars, imagine that. Bicycles are everywhere. People ride them to work, to the train station, to do their grocery shopping and to take their young children around. It's lovely to watch. Biking in Amsterdam is a cultural thing, so why not join in and have fun doing so? If you're confident on a bike, renting one is a great way to join the locals and explore the city. Alternatively, a guided city tour by bike might be an excellent start. Amsterdam's downtown cityscapes are dominated by its canals, and the best way to enjoy the charm of the stunning canals and the townhouses lining them is by boat. In front of the Amsterdam Centraal, the city's main train station, you find the canal cruise boats, starting their tours every 30 minutes. The trips last about an hour and are filled with informative and sometimes funny commentaries of the most famous sites in the area. But if a tourist boat is not your thing, you can hire a small self-driven boat and cruise the canals on your own time. Not many people immediately connect Amsterdam with art and culture, but don't be fooled. As of November 2023, Amsterdam has about 75 museums, and those museums are so profound that they are indeed one of the city's major attractions. You'll find museums of classical art, modern art, theater, photography, film, press, and science. Some of Amsterdam's most famous museums are 
The Rijksmuseum is probably the best known museum in Amsterdam and the perfect starting point for your Amsterdam Museums tour. When you stand in front of its stunning red brick building at number one Museumstraat, you know it is home to something significant. Inside, you will find artwork by Rembrandt, Vermeer, Van Gogh, and other famous artists. After exploring the exhibition inside the Rijksmuseum, you can reflect on it in the beautifully landscaped museum gardens. The Stedelijk Museum is one of the world's most significant museums for modern art, contemporary art, and design. Its collection includes artwork of world-famous modern artists, including Dutch artists from the 20th century. Stedelijk, as it is unassumingly called, is located at number 10 Museum Plan and housed in a historic red brick building from 1895. The Van Gogh Museum, located at number 6 Museum Plan, is dedicated to the works of Vincent Van Gogh and not only holds the world's most extensive Van Gogh collection, but the most significant single artist collection anywhere on the planet. The Anne Frank House and Museum tells the story of the Jewish girl, Anne Frank. In 1942, during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands, Anne Frank, her family, and close friends went into hiding in a secret annex of this house, located at number 20, Westermarkt. Anne started to rewrite her diary until August 4th, 1944, when her hiding place was discovered and she was arrested, among other people in hiding. The Rembrandt House Museum is located at number 4 Jodenbreestraat in Amsterdam city centre. It is in this house where between 1639 and 1658 the famous Dutch painter Rembrandt van Rijn lived, worked, and sold his art. Today the museum gives visitors a glimpse into the life of this extraordinary artist. Rembrandt Monument, located in central Amsterdam at the Rembrandt Plain. In 1852, the sculpture was cast in one piece by Louis Royer.
One of Amsterdam's most historic bridges is the Blaubrug. This bridge crosses the River Amstel and by extension connects the Rembrandt Plain and Waterloo Plain. Inspired by the bridges of Paris, the Blaubrug is one of Amsterdam's most lavish decorated bridges, featuring ornate lanterns, crowns and sculptured bases. The current bridge, built for the World Colonial Exhibition of 1883, replaced a 17th century blue wooden bridge in the same location. Even though the current bridge is painted grey, the name Blaubrook remained in honour of the original bridge. The Stopera building, located at number 3 Amstel, is home to the renowned Dutch National Opera and Ballet. Founded in 1961, over the last 60 years, the Dutch National Ballet has become one of the world's leading ballet companies, celebrated for its unique and extensive repertoire. Built in 1488, the Wag, or Way House, was originally one of three gates leading through Amsterdam city wall. But during the city's expansion and increased trading success of the city's merchants, the building was turned into a Way House in the 1600s. After a reconstruction in 1996, the Wag's upper levels became home to the Wag Society, an art, science and technology institute. The ground floor holds the restaurant cafe in the Wag, offering an incredible dining experience in a space lit by 300 candles.
the Oude Kerk, or Old Church, is Amsterdam's oldest building, constructed between the years 1213 and 1306. For centuries, the Oude Kerk was the most essential church in Amsterdam. Today, besides being a monumental church, the Oude Kerk is Amsterdam's newest art institute and remains one of Amsterdam's grand sites. The Oude Kerk is also widely recognized for its three organs. There is the historical 17th century grand organ, a much smaller transept organ, and one more modern cabinet organ. Every year, various important organ concerts are held at the church, including the celebrated International Organ Festival, held from July to September. The Oude Kerk should not be missed by any visitors to Amsterdam. Located on the west side of the Dam Square, in the center of Amsterdam, is the Royal Palace of Amsterdam. The Royal Palace is the country's largest and most prestigious building from the 17th century and one of Netherlands' most important monuments. As monumental as the palace is, initially it was not built as a royal palace but as Amsterdam's town hall reflecting the prestige and wealth of 17th century Amsterdam.
The National Monument on Dam Square, erected in 1956, serves as a daily reminder of the sufferings of the Second World War. Queen Juliana of the Netherlands unveiled the 22-meter-high monument on May 4, 1956, during the Remembrance Day ceremony held on the 4th of May every year since 1946. The famous Amsterdam Floating Flower Market has existed since 1862 and is the only floating flower market in the world. The market, a series of greenhouses and flower stalls on houseboats, is located on the Singal Canal between the Muntplein and the Koningsplein. Open all year, the market is a colorful and richly scented place to visit and stroll along. You'll find all sorts of flowers, bouquets, bulbs. Bulbs sold at this market are certified and ready for export so you can take them home or take them along as a unique gift. The Jordan district in Amsterdam is a magnificent example of how an originally working class neighborhood has been transformed into one of the city's hippest and trendiest upscale locations. Street markets, art galleries, indie boutiques, specialty shops, cozy pubs and hip restaurants flank the narrow Jordan canals and streets. And if you're wondering what the best area is to stay in Amsterdam, we think that the uniquely inviting atmosphere of the Jordan makes this the best area to stay in Amsterdam. The Amsterdam Central Station is a major international railway hub and the largest railway station in Amsterdam. The Central, as it is lovingly called, is a magnificent neo-Gothic building covered by a remarkable cast iron roof of the platform. This place is awe-inspiring, stunning inside and out. Central was opened in 1889 in the heart of the city and now welcomes over 190,000 passengers daily.
Amsterdam is truly a fantastic place. It's full of art, culture, history, and a thousand stories about how Amsterdam came about. Its canals, the little streets, cozy pubs, trendy restaurants, a distinctive architecture. And not to forget the people of Amsterdam give this city a truly unique vibe and charm. No one should miss a visit to Amsterdam. As you have arrived at this point in the video, you're probably a fan of Europe. If this is the case, you've come to the right place. Here at Destination Channel Europe, we are European specialists with more than 30 years of work and travel experience in Europe. In our videos, we show you the beauty of Western Europe in much detail. So please like and subscribe to our channel so you will be the first to watch our new videos. Thank you very much.